Hi everybody, it is ladies night. Oh yeah. So anyway, it is just us gals. And we're gonna talk about clothes. We're gonna rant a little bit about clothes tonight because Lon knows it is so hard for most of us to find clothes, especially some that fit us. As far as like, you know, length or anything in particular because either pants are too short or they're too long or you know other things like that so we're gonna rant about clothes we're gonna talk about dating we're gonna talk about anything really that you want to talk about and we're gonna give you some good advice or I say we're gonna give you some good advice we got all your sisters here tonight so we're all gonna join together and we're gonna give each other some good advice about getting out there when it comes to dating because I've noticed a lot of you ladies are out there in the dating field. I am as well. And so I thought it would take a good minute, since this is ladies night, for us just to talk about some personal things in our personal lives. So anyway, Cassie Hopper. Hi, Bethany. Hey, girl. How's it going? So anyway, first off, let's rant about clothes. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. All right. So anyway, I know I have some of the biggest problems with finding jeans. I don't know about the rest of you girls. But for me, in particular, when it comes to jeans, pant, my main issue is pants and skirts. Those are my big issues. Because um, mainly, like I said, pants, either they're too short or they're too long. And then skirts, sometimes they can look like mini skirts. And that just, uh, no, no thank you. Um, or they're too long. You know, my thing is, is like, okay, yeah, there's hemming tape. There's, you know, sewing machines. And if you know how to sew, that's fantastic. Um, you know, personally, I don't know how to sew. So I do like hemming tape or I might have to take pants to the dry cleaners in order to get them hemmed up to where they need to be. And, you know, I just, I don't like doing all that. So what I have found is that there are a lot of clothing stores and I'm going to give you some tips on some of the stores that I have found that actually carry like true short sizes, if you know what I mean. Um, so there's like H&M, there's um, Express, and there's, um, th those are like the two biggest ones that I have found so far is Express and um, Express and H&M. Those two, I've been able to find some pants that fit me, like not just in the size, but also in the length and everything and don't make me look like I'm either a 10 year old or, <laughs> you know, it makes me look like an adult. Um, Cassie Hopper, it's hard shopping for me. It's such a hassle because of my size. It's a nightmare. Yeah. Well, I mean, my thing is, is like, okay, so personally, uh, I go between, I go anywhere between like a two, two to four, like I'm somewhere in that range. But my problem is, is that a lot of people, like a lot of a lot of the sizes that I find for me, like a lot of twos and fours, they're really long. Um, and so that's that's just been my biggest nightmare. Uh, Emily Knox, hello. Hey, how's it going? Kimberly Tibbet. Hey, be right back. Have to get my phone to tune in. I, I know. If y'all are having some problems tuning in, please let me know because I've had a couple of people say that like the internet knocks them off sometimes. Um, Michelle, Old Navy is good too. Yeah, Old Navy is really good. I love Old Navy. Um, and Cassie Hopper, I'm a four. Yeah, I'm a, I've got between two and four, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, Old Navy, I, I love Old Navy flannels. <laughs> I got to give a shout out to the South, you know. I love flannels, I love boots, things like that. Um, when it comes to like nighttime, like going out, like with your friends or whatever, I always try to go for heels. Um, either that or I go for like a boot with heels maybe. Um, it's not that I avoid sneakers or don't like flats, period, because I'll even wear sandals even though um, my feet, you would have to see my feet. You'd have to meet me to understand my toes. Um, but I, I still wear like open toe shoes. I really don't. Um, but I, most of the time I try to wear something with a heel in it just so that way it gives me some height. And not only that, but if you buy some pants or jeans or whatever that are regular sometimes if you wear something with a heel like that helps uh Emberly Knox I'm I'm a bigger girl so pants shopping is a nightmare I wear leggings and sweats a lot I love leggings can we talk about leggings for a minute and thank whoever made leggings yes god um so leggings I think are really good the reason that I really like shorts and dresses is because I feel like it elongates my leg, like it makes your legs look longer than what they actually are, um, especially skirts. 
Um, and so to me, especially if I'm in a professional setting, like uh, that's what I like to wear is skirts or dresses. Um, around my friends though, I mean, sometimes I wear shorts or, you know, like during the summer. Um, but I really love, I don't know, this is a lot of people who know me know this. I wear hippie skirts a lot. These long flowy hippie skirts, I love them. I love them to death. I can wear that, throw a cami on, and I'm good to go. Walk out the door. Um, Kimberly, flats hurt yet to find a good pair that, uh, oh, it's hard to find a good pair that don't. Yeah, I mean, I've, uh, ironically, I've actually gone to Walmart and gotten some flats that really helped me, and I've liked them so far. They've done really well for me. Um, Kimberly Tibbet, I love winter boots. If I could wear them year round, I would. Exactly. Like, if I could wear boots year round, it would be amazing. Uh, I mean, of course, we all know that we can wear cowboy boots. Like, that's just a thing you can wear all year long. Um, but like, you know, leather boots, things like that. I love wearing a good boot if I can. Um, because like I said, they have a heel on it and I like wearing things that have a, at least a little bit of a heel on it to make me taller than I actually am. Uh, Kimberly Tibbet, I don't wear heels often as my balance is bad. Um, I mean, I know, well, personally, just because of the job that I've, I've worked in retail for years, like for years I've worked in either restaurant or retail. And, um, especially when I was working in retail and when I was a drug court coordinator for a county, I'm not going to give the name. Um, anyway, so I would wear heels for hours on end and at first it kind of hurt, but then I just got used to it. And the job I have right now, I can wear heels and I'm still able to wear them for hours on end. Uh, I think it just depends on your feet. Um, I know some people have an issue with balance. Some people, um, their feet just don't work well with heels because I've had a lot of people complain about heels. So that, that's why I say that. Personally, I, I love heels, but I think it works differently for each person. So I would suggest, you know, finding shoes that kind of fit you. It, find out if you really like heels, um, if they work for you. Because it, like Kimberly was saying, like if they're, if your balance is bad, then it might not be a good idea to wear them. Uh, Kimberly Tippett, my boots are the most comfortable footwear I own. Yes, yes, yes. It's sad. I've got like five pairs of boots. <laughs> Um, I've actually got one of them here beside me right now, my black boots I was wearing earlier today for work. Um, but yeah, so like I said, boots, uh, and like I said, if you wear heels, like I said before, heels elongate your leg. That's why I love them. And <clears throat> so anyway, we'll go on to our next topic unless anybody has any more questions about that or if we want to talk some more about that, if you have any advice you want to give uh, some of the girls. Oh, one thing I'm going to say, because we have web necks. So what I would suggest, there's like V-neck stuff. So do like V-necks or like the round necks. I would suggest that because um, I, I would do that just to kind of, I do it because my neck, well, yeah, like I've got my cami on under this. So anyway, like you can see my web neck. So uh, that way, you know, I feel like it kind of has it. Like if I wear like a crew neck, like a crew neck, V-neck, short sort of shirt uh, I'm getting some more comments so let me get back to you girls hold on okay so Kimberly says I love straight legged jeans yes I like straight well I also like boot cut I like straight leg and I like boot cut I will say that um, but have trouble finding anything that looks good with them when it's too hot for my boots yeah um, usually what I do like especially in the summer is, is like I'll wear like a cami and then like maybe like a really thin shrug that's what I like to do because I also like to cover up my shoulders like you'd have to see my shoulders I threw for years in high school I uh, did a javelin shot put discus and I was an RTC so I, I have bigger shoulders and we have a broad chest anyway so I always wear like a cami with like a shrug or something to kind of cover that up uh, Cassie you're so pretty Bethany oh thank you Cassidy uh, love your accent as well <laughs> Well, thank you, kind sir. Uh, so, love that we are both from the South. I know it. That ain't no land like the Southland, baby. Uh, Brandy, Brandy Yeager. Hey, this is one of my friends from high school. I love this girl. I love Brandy. Uh, get a good wedge. Yes, good wedge uh, heels. They're fantastic. Oh, sorry. My arm caught that. Okay, Amy. Pointed toe shoes elongate. Yes, they do. Um, I've got... Well, they're in my closet. I, my black heels that I have that I wear for work are actually pointed. And that's true. Like, they elongate as well. 
Kimberly, I love dresses, but most of mine are too dressy to wear on a regular day basis. Um, I have, find a lot of like springy sun dr style dresses because I have a lot of those. Um, I bought a lot from H&M when I was in Japan. They had a sale, and so I bought like all these dresses for like 700 yen uh, a piece, which is like seven bucks here. So, um, yeah, find some summer dresses because that I like wearing those with sandals and works every time. Kimberly Tippett, I never had a web, I never had a web neck. Um, you know, some some girls like their the webbing in their neck isn't as pronounced, and some girls don't have it. You know, it's just one of those things. Uh, bras are a nightmare. Hallelujah! Can I get an amen from the choir? Uh, yes, they are, especially new bras. Uh, I, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, recently I had to get some new bras, and yeah, they're a nightmare. Kimberly Tibbet, since it gets up to 120 and hotter, I wear shorts a lot. Yeah, you know, if you wear shorts a lot, like I, I like the khaki jean style uh, shorts that kind of roll up. Um, I try not to get too short of short, and so that because I don't want to I'm not trying to get Daisy Dukes <laughs> Cassie Hopper I have a web neck as well I hate it I know like it it's one of those things like you, you learn how to deal with it I guess because like I've learned how to kind of hide it and things like that because like I said I like the v-neck because I feel like it kind of hides it and the round neck because it gives me some room so those are those are the two styles of shirts slash necks that I look for excuse me so If we have any more questions or advice about clothes, shoot them in, and we're going to go ahead and start roll into our next segment, which is going to be about dating. Um, so, dating. Girls, let me tell you. There's a couple of rules that I give when it comes to dating. Okay, first off, first rule, there are three things I'd ever talk about on the first date. Religion, politics, and Try not to talk about my family. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I mean, I, obviously they know that we have family. But try to stay away from religion, politics, and like I said, I, well, I say four, three things. Maybe four things. Um, I try not to talk, talk about my family too much because we're trying to get to know each other. Um, and I personally, I wait till about the third or fourth date before I say anything about having to yes. Because we, Lord knows, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to Google it before we can talk to them about it. And then, you know, there's so many things out there. And, uh, you know, you want to be able to, if you want, you want to be able to filter what information, well, I say filter what information. You want to be the one to tell them about TS and what to expect, if that makes sense. Uh, Kimberly, my neck has never been webbed at all. Um, I mean, hey, that, that happens. Uh, I, I just know my neck. My neck has. Um, there's a lot of girls who have, and like we've said before, TS affects every girl differently. So that's that's something to consider. Um, all right. So those are the things that I don't talk about on the first date. Um, and not only that, but personally, I like going my first date. Always do a first date like in a public place, like going to a restaurant, going to a movie. Well, I say go to a movie. I try to avoid movies. So restaurant, coffee. A walk somewhere because you want to get to know that person um, you're not there to watch a movie you're there to get to know each other you know it's your first date and so that that's those are my first date tips um, but otherwise you know always like a like I've said before in any relationship honesty is the best policy and so being upfront honest with each other I think is very important um, also, I think having a lot of common interest is also very important, but also opposites do attract. I will say that opposites attract. Um, let's see, Emily, I have trouble getting guys. I like to not be repulsed by me or not put me in friend sister zone. I hate the friend zone. Let me go ahead and tell you, I have been there, done that. Uh, Emily Knox, I never had a BF. Oh, I mean, you know, my, my thing about the, the friend zone, okay, here's the thing. Girls, we all have that guy that at any point in our life, we've had that guy before that's like, I don't know if I want to date, maybe later, I'm too busy right now. Uh, there's always some excuse to why they don't want to go on a date right now, or there's a reason that you two can't date right now. Let me go ahead and tell you. 
if he likes you, he's going to make a phone call. He's going to take you out on a date. He's going to, he is going to make an effort and say, you know, Hey, I would like to take you out to dinner on Friday night. Uh, what are you doing? And oh, okay, well, I'm not doing anything. Okay. Well, then he's going to plan where to take you. He's going to plan out the date. If he really likes you, he's going to make the effort. Let him make the effort. Make him make the effort because you're worth it. Okay. Sassy snap fingers on that one. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do that. Uh, Kimberly, dating. Guys I like are taken. Guys that like me are creepers. <laughs> Completely obsessed in turn turn offs. I never, I never been in a relationship because of this. I also do not get out a lot. Let's see. Guys that like me make me feel so uncomfortable. You know, I think... Um, I think that, you know, there are some guys that... Maybe they don't know how to date either. <laughs> um, like they like maybe we're learning how to date. They don't know how, like I I don't know. I, I I've never really understood um guys like that. Uh Christmas keep going. Uh been married almost fifteen years. Let them come to you, ladies. Thank you. Yes, my point exactly, girls. Let them come to you. If they want you, they're gonna make the effort. They're gonna make that phone call, they're gonna show up, they're gonna plan a date. They're going to make it all, okay? You're not going to, uh-uh, no. You do not make the first move. Let them make the first move. I know this is the 21st century and all that. I know, I know. But let them, let them make the effort, ladies. We all know that we like a guy that makes an effort. Uh, Kimberly, it's all about um, personality for me. Yeah, I go for guys with personality. Um, I mean, yeah, looks, looks are nice. Looks are very nice. But, you know, to me, if I can't hold a conversation with a guy, uh-uh, no. Like, I, I just can't. I got to be able to talk to you. You've got to have, you got to have brains, personality. I mean, that, that's my big thing. I, looks, that's one thing. Like, you can deal with that. But this is another. Cassidy, never had a boyfriend, but I would like one at some point when I find the right guy. The right guy will come. Yes, that's true. Exactly. I'm not worried too bad. God will bring the right guy. Exactly. You know, I mean, I, and here's another thing. This is why I say don't make the effort, effort because guys, guys want to chase girls. There's a book and I think that every girl, whether you have TS or not, I think you should read this book. Um, it's called, he's just not that into you. And you, you need to read, read the book. Um, I know they made a movie like based off the book or whatever, but the thing is, is like the movie is not the book. The book is all about the, like these advice, this advice and everything that this guy, this one guy, he just wrote this book because he saw so many of his girlfriends get with these guys and everything. And so and see how they get hurt and so that's why he wrote the book he's just not that into you so i think you should read it take the time um because it's so true sometimes we're just uh we meet a guy and we think he likes us and we like him but sometimes he's just not that into you if that makes sense he may not like you but he's not that into you if that makes sense okay so emily the svu uh, ep episode the clock made me feel even worse about myself because it said the only way a guy would like a girl with TS is if they were a pet okay that episode of SVU let me tell you that one had me messed up because like I, I I really didn't like how I really didn't like how they portrayed that because yeah that that was true at one point that they said that and um, you know I I mean it's not true it's not true and so I, I mean, honestly, I haven't written a letter to the people yet, but I'm definitely on my way to doing it. <laughs> so yeah, that, that one episode, we'll, we'll, we'll do a girl's night about that. We'll, we'll get back to that one. Um, Amy, I think it's okay to talk to a guy, but they should take the lead once things progress. Exactly. They have to take the lead. Let them chase you. They have to take the lead. You know, um, I don't think there's anything wrong with a girl with you putting yourself out there I really don't if you like a guy go for it like I mean I, tell him like talk to him about it and things like that especially if he's your friend it's not gonna hurt your relationship but you know let they have to take the lead so just let 
Let them take, okay, hold on, I'm getting some more comments. Let them take the lead, girls. Let them do it. Uh, Kimberly, can Killian Jones, Hook from Once Upon a Time, be real? <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. Can he be real? <laughs> um, I've heard of that book. Yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, it's a good book, Emily. Yeah, I know, I know, exactly, exactly, Kim. I'm right there with you. Um, Kimberly, I do not see anything wrong with the woman asking the guy out. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see anything wrong with it. Like, if you, if you like a guy, you know, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with putting it. Like, I, I'm all of that. Anybody who knows me, y'all know me. I have no problem putting my feelings out there and saying what I think. So, you know, I have no problem, um, especially when it came to me and Justin, I had no problem telling him how I felt. And so, you know, I don't think that there's a problem with telling somebody, like, how you feel, but, uh, but yeah, at some point, like I'm saying, like I said, like, at some point, he, he needs to be the one to take the lead, because guys like a good chase, and so, that, that, that's why I'm saying that, like, he, it, it, it's a fit, well, I say 50-50, sorry. <clears throat> my face is kicking in. <clears throat> it's a hundred hundred. So, you know, you, you can initiate and he needs to initiate. Both parties have to initiate. So that, um, that, that's how, that's, that's what I think. And yeah, I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with a woman doing that. So, but, <clears throat> and not only that, you know, also talk about, uh, I like doing what I like call what I like to call a relationship checkup. Every once in a while, you know, talk about your relationship. If, you know, maybe you've been on a few well, I say been on a few days. Maybe y'all been dating for a few months or, you know, and you're feeling one way, like make sure you do regular relationship checkups to make sure each of y'all are on the same page as far as your relationship is concerned. Um, and I would I would do that personally. Cassidy, Bethany, when will the when will be the right time to tell the guy about TS if you're in a relationship? Good question. Um, okay, so what I've done in the past is I've always wait I have a rule about waiting until the third date. Um, I, I know some girls might think that that's too long, but the thing is is like I said, I want him to get to know me before he knows that I have TS because like I said, if you tell him that you most of the time, if you tell somebody you have TS, what's the first thing they're going to do? They're going to Google. And then Google's your best friend or your worst enemy, and you're going to get a whole range of things. Personally, I wait till the third day. Um, but I'm also a rule breaker. <laughs> um, with Justin, I actually told Justin the first the first day we met, actually, um, because we met his brother married my cousin. And so we ended up talking for a long time, and... We talked about all this stuff that happened in our families and stuff. And I told him that I had TS, like, the f our, the first night we knew each other. So, it it was kind of, eh, But it was good, though. Uh, Amy, best way is to do things you want to do. Church, concerts, hiking, biking, volunteering. Then you'll meet folks you, who enjoy the same things. Exactly. Um, you know, personally, I like swing dancing. So, I don't, you know, I like going to the swing club and you know, dancing with peop different people because they'll they'll dance like with different partners, so that way everybody gets to dance. And you know that that gives you an opportunity to make some friends, meet some people, things like that. Um, if you're over 21, like myself, if you're over 21, you can if you like to have a you know play pool and drink a beer with your friends. You know, you can go to a billiard hall. You can go um, to a wine bar. I love a good wine bar. Okay, that's just me personally. I'm just saying. I love a good wine bar. Um, you know, think like find things that you like to do. I like hiking. I like being outdoors. I like shopping. Um, I like going to get a cup of coffee. I like listening to local bands. So do some things that you like, and then you can find the right guy. Somebody who has similar interests like you do, which is really good. Um, okay, so... All right, so Michelle said, Michelle Schultz, class, uh, class I made a big mistake with that. Uh, I put my cards on the table with a guy a long time ago and totally messed it up. You know what? I I did the same thing um, as far as like putting my cards on the table and it wasn't received. Um, you know, uh, so, sometimes when you go for it, unfortunately, you know, like maybe they don't feel the same way. And that's why, you know, I think it's, to 
to me, you know, I, the reason I am the way I am, I, I, I put myself out there and maybe, you know, I don't want to suggest like you do it on your own time. If that makes sense. Like if you're having feelings for someone one day, like maybe take your time, figure out what it is exactly that you feel about this person and, you know, maybe work into it. Don't feel like you have to rush into, okay, I've got to tell them today. No, 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 no. Take your time, you know, maybe talk to another friend about it. Like, hey, I don't know. What, what do you think? Maybe get some advice from, from, some, from, from some friends before you do it. Um, Cassidy, what about long-distance relationships? Um, never doing those again. <laughs> Um, long distance relationships. So, okay, for some people, long distance relationships work out, and sometimes they don't. Uh, if you want to make a long distance relationship work, Skype, Facebook, any kind of video chat is your best friend. FaceTime. You know, you've got communication, 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 communication. That's the, that's the biggest thing I can tell you in any relationship. Either, you know, close distance <laughs> or long distance. I, I don't know exactly how to put, put it if you live in the same town or whatever. But yeah, especially long distance, communication is key. It is priority. You have to communicate. And because especially if you're feeling one way, with you being apart, you know, you start to miss each other a lot. And so you can get feelings. So it's really, it's really, 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 really important that you communicate. Um, Justin and I, when he was a uh, when he was in Baltimore and when he was in Hawaii before I moved to Hawaii, uh, we Skyped like almost every single day. We Skyped, we text, we uh, made phone calls, video chat, like we did it all. And so at least once a day. So, um, but yeah, communication is key. It's important. Kimberly, if you're not into a guy who is into you, you should not feel obligated to date him if you do not want to. It, yes. Yeah. Just because a guy likes you doesn't mean you have to like him. Um, if you think you might like him, maybe go on a date, but you don't, you're not obligated to go on a date with a guy just because he says he likes you. So yeah, yeah, don't, don't feel obligated. And also Kimberly, I like long romantic walks on, um, down the makeup aisle. <laughs> Me too. I love the makeup aisle. Um, any of you shy when it comes to guys? I know that sounds weird. Me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think that that happens a lot. Because I think what it is is like, the it's the fear of rejection. Like you fear that if you put yourself, it's that fear of putting yourself out there and then it not being accepted the way it should be. Or the way that you want it. You know, if you really like a guy and you're like, okay, I finally worked up the courage. I'm going to tell him I like him. And then all of a sudden he just... Psh, you know, it doesn't work out, then, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a bummer, and it's something that, you know, you don't want to go through, so, um, I think that makes a lot of people shy when it comes to, like, talking to guys or telling them how they feel, things like that, so I think that that's very important, you know, that's why I say, wait till you feel comfortable, you know, because, let's say, like, at first you like this person, and then maybe a few days later, you either find out something about them or they do something and you're like, mm, I don't know if I like that. So that's why I say wait, wait a few, um, wait, a, wait a little while. Uh, Christmas. It can work. My hubby and I dated while he was in Colorado and I was in Ohio. I'm in Colorado. Oh my gosh. Uh, before Skype people. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It can work. Communication. Like she was saying, like communication, that is the biggest thing. You have to communicate. So, as long as you communicate and both of you know where you are in your relationship and everything, it, it can work. People, people make it work every day. Kimberly, fear of rejection or being taken advantage of or hurt. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of the reasons I think a lot of people are shy um, when it comes to guys. Amy, I tend to go opposite and pretend to not be interested for fear my liking won't be reciprocated. Yeah, I mean... I. I've definitely done that <laughs> myself personally. Um, I've definitely acted not interested in a guy just to see what would happen. Um, and so, I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And, you know, if it doesn't work, eh, you know, their loss, not mine. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. So, and that's something I also want you girls to know. 
even if you put yourself out there, even if it's not accepted the way that you want it to be accepted, you are, each one of you are beautiful, you're gorgeous, you have got personalities. I love each and every one of you girls. And I just want you to know that because you don't need no guy to lift you up. Be sure of yourself. Be be confident. Love, love you before you love somebody else. If you can't love yourself, how can you love somebody else? Because, I, I mean, there's been times in my life, <clears throat> and I mean, especially going through my divorce, like going through this divorce, you know, there's things that happen in our lives that make us rethink a lot of the things that we believed before. And, you know, I think it's really important um, for us to learn to love ourselves because a lot of us, a lot of times people can have self doubts. Like they have doubts about, you know, Oh, am I good enough? Or, you know, is that, do I need to change this or this, you know, what, what do I need to do? You know, so I would highly suggest, you know, love yourself before you can love somebody else. If you need to, I, I love writing in my diary. Like I've said, writing a diary or, you know, keep a vlog, you know, a, a blog or something like that. Do something to help you organize your thoughts, help you kind of discover yourself once again. Do something that you love to do. Um, I like treating myself. I, honey, I will go through a Starbucks drive through I will do whatever, like go sit at a scenic park. You know, do something to, that makes you love you because that's another thing when it comes to dating. Um, confidence. Confidence is a huge, huge loss. I mean, I'm reading a comment, sorry, is a huge, huge thing. Um, guys really love a confident girl. So, I mean, I, I would really highly suggest, you know, be confident in yourself. Christmas, their loss, exactly. Their loss, honey, not mine. Amy, if you're not happy single, you won't be happy in a relationship. A, can we get a hallelujah? Preach to the choir here, sister. Um, Kimberly, I have guys who asked me to date them. I was not into them. Kindly said no. But they will not stop asking and buying me gifts like they are trying to buy me, uh, trying to buy my love. Very uncomfortable. Okay, so it's not letting me read the rest of your comment, Kimberly, but I think I know what you're talking about. And, uh, you know, those are the kind of guys that, you know, you have to, well, you, yeah, you kindly say no. And then sometimes you have to forcefully say no, unfortunately. Um, so, it's. I know it's something that none of us like doing, excuse me, like doing, but sometimes, sometimes it has to be done. Um, so anyway, we're going to go, so if anybody has any more questions or advice about dating, please put it in, in there. We're going to be re keep reading your comments. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to our third segment. And, um, before we do that though, <clears throat> Sorry. Um, before we do that, uh, I want us to talk a little bit, because I feel like this is, I think we need to talk about this a little bit. Self-image and self-confidence. Um, I think what is really, okay, oh, Kimberly, I do, but they, they don't listen and say, I hoped you'd change your mind. I know, I hate it when they do that. Um, but what I've done, and I know that this is rude, to do probably um, what I've done is like if they keep texting or whatever I just eventually block their number um, you can do that if you if you need to like if they keep if they keep on um, but yeah so I think that self-image self-image and self-confidence I think is very important especially when it comes to dating um, like I said before if you can't love yourself you can't love somebody else um, you the thing is, is like when a guy, <clears throat> I'm trying to put, put this the best way. Some, one of my friends, one of my guy friends put it uh, to me. He said, you know, one of the things that makes a woman in a lot of men's eyes sexy, let's say, um, is confidence. Because I, because what they feel, <coughs> a woman who's confident in herself, knows who she is, taking care of herself. You know, they find that a strong woman. I've heard some women say, oh, well, men are turned off by a strong woman. No, they're not. They, men love a strong woman. And if they can't love a strong woman, they don't deserve you. Trust me. Um, 
Kimberly, yes, I have a lot of self-esteem issues. Yeah, I mean, I dealt with that in the past, like when I was in middle school and high school. And, um, you know, I, I think that that, that's why I say do things to boost your self-confidence. Um, I know what boosts my self-confidence, let's say. I really like, I know it's odd, getting really dressed up and just going somewhere. Anywhere. Just really dressed up and going somewhere. Because, especially when I go swing dancing and I'm all made up and everything like that. It, it is a confidence boost when I go out there and there's somebody who wants to dance with me. You know, it's really nice. Uh, Kimberly, uh, at 30 I should be over. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm 32. Um... I'm 32 years old, and I mean, I, I think I think it's something that people, you know, deal with throughout their life, if that makes sense. Like, it, it, I think it's a daily thing that a lot of people deal with. Um, I feel like I'm over it uh, because, you know, like I like I've said, you know, beauty a is from the inside, and second off, you know, beauty I think is what you make it. Um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And so I believe that I'm beautiful and so and I believe that I'm a catch for whoever I whoever I find next, you know. So if they don't want to date me, they don't have to date me, but you know, it's their loss and that that's just how I feel. All right, well ladies, it has been a wonderful and fun ladies night with you guys. Like the Walt for page if you haven't liked the Walt for page here on Facebook. And keep in touch with us because we're going to be at the Walt for in October. Their walk will be in October this year. We're going to be at the conference this year. So if you're going to be at the conference, I can't wait to see you there. It's going to be so much fun. Scarletta and I are going to be there. And we will see you next time. Drink wine if you're legal. It's Friday night. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Have a good night, ladies. Bye.